Hello friends, I'm Nayesh Sheikh from blogdo.com and today in this video we'll see the top 10 most important things you must do after installing WordPress. I've tried to include almost everything that is important, something related to SEO, security, caching, anti-spamming and so on. So before proceeding further, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. And if you enjoy the video, then make sure you give a thumbs up to this video and share with your friends. And if I have missed something, if you think, you know, there is some more important points one must do after installing WordPress and I have not included that, then you can put them in the comment section below. With that being said, let's get started. So this is a very fresh installment of WordPress. As you can see over here, this is how your uh, you know, dashboard would look after you install WordPress. Now let's see how our website is looking. Okay, so this is how your website should look. Now here the first thing that we're going to do is profile settings. Now why is that important? Now if you see over here, whenever someone visits your website and they see a post, they'll see the date and beside that they'll see the username. Now this is very dangerous because this is the username which I use to log into my dashboard. Let me show you. For example, if I type in this, if I type in my uh, dashboard URL, you can see this is how it will look. Now this is the one, this username is the one which I use over here, okay, in the username to log into my dashboard. Now this is very dangerous because you know what happens is sometimes, you know, people try to use this username and try any random password and they might get access to your dashboard and that is very dangerous because they can delete all your post and everything so let's change this thing first so over here you'll see at the right top corner this is uh, how it would look it would say how do your name and it will have three options nayar shake which is my name or your username will be over here after that we have edit my profile now let's click on edit my profile now here are all the profile settings okay you can change uh, the color scheme if you know is you can see over here okay so let's select midnight now this was not important i was just showing you now the most important thing over here is this okay nickname but you can put in your first name and last name over here for let me put my first name nayar nayar shake Okay, now this is the nickname. Now, instead of this, we have to type something else. For example, you can type in John Doe or any other name, or you can type in some different name. Obviously, you will type in your username or the nickname over here. Now, you should also notice one thing. Whenever you type anything over here, whether you save the changes or not, you will get that option over here. As you can see, I have typed in Nayar, I get Nayar, I have typed in Shake. I get shake options over here so I can just select Nayar now here if I select Nayar instead of Nayar shake it will show Nayar, uh, only Nayar because I have selected my first name now if you select uh, John Doe from here which is not here I guess for example if if I select Abzal Khan from here and click on update profile and if I come back over here and refresh this website I you can see now it says Abzal Khan now this is not, now this is very useful and very helpful all because of two reasons because you know not everyone put, uh, puts a very simple username someone might put in something like you know something like this now we don't want to see that over here so you can put in a simple name over here you can put in some name just uh, just to distinguish from your username for security purposes okay so this is the first thing you can type in some more things for example you can change your gravatar from your this is the gravatar your image your profile picture you can type in about your biographical info you can set a new password now this is also important because uh, when you sign up with the hosting companies like hostgator they don't they give you a very random password now once you get that password first what you have to do you have to change that password and set a normal password which you want okay so to do so what will you have to do you have to click on this generate password again it will give you a uh, some you know random password now suppose instead of this you want something like this now you shake okay so you can have this thing okay it says very weak because it is a very weak password it is just my username 
so i'm just showing you that you can use you know you can just change your password from here then if you want to have a very weak password any kind of password you can just click on confirm user weak password and click on update profile okay so this was the first thing the profile settings very important in terms of security now the second thing that we're gonna look is site title and description now again let me come back over here now if you see this is how your website is looking and this is the site title which says my blog and this is your description my my wordpress blog and this is by default it will also show over here if you see on the tab over here it says hello world my blog because we are under hello world and after that it says the site name if you go to your home page it will say your site name which is my blog and the description so we need to change this okay so to do so again come back to your dashboard and at the left hand side you will see something called settings how are settings and click on general now this is our general setting this is the site title and the second one is tagline now the site title is nothing but the name of your website for example if you see my website blog com you will get an idea of what it is okay now if you see over here the site title is blog dude and the tagline is a guide for all the bloggers okay so you can put in something like that here it will be your company name or your website name okay so we are having blog dude and tagline is just you know in a few words you explain what your site is all about okay so for example this is also and we can just say this YouTube demo okay this is just a YouTube demo and if you're using an SSL certificate then make sure you have HTTPS over here now this is an SSL certificate this is not part of this lecture so we'll just skip that and we'll click on save changes now this was the second thing now the third thing that we need to change is the permalink structure for example if you see your website this is how this is your permalink or the URL it says my website name that is nayashik.com but if you use or if you open any post for example let's open this post now here as you can see uh, now it is your website name the year month date and after that we have the post name over here now this is not good for SEO purposes and you know you don't want anything like this in your use in, in your URL bar so let's change that now come back to your dashboard and click on permalinks under settings now here this is the default one the day and name you, you can see the structure here your website name the date or the day and the post name okay now we want the most uh, SEO friendly one so what I'll do is I'll just delete this thing and I'll show you the most SEO friendly structure and I'll show you how you can use that so first make sure you are and you have tick mark this thing custom structure and the first thing that we need is category okay so you can just click on category you'll have your category over here and after category we'll have the post name okay so this is the post name so this is the most SEO friendly uh, uh, URL you can say or the permalink your website name slash category slash post name okay now click on save changes now again let's come back to this and let's refresh now when you refresh you see that it says the category name which is uncategorized and after that we see the post name so this was very important in terms of SEO purposes now the fourth thing that we need to change is the default category which is uncategorized as you can see over here so whenever you you know type in or put in any post and you don't put or you don't select any category for that you will have a default category selected which is uncategorized okay so we need to change that so again come back to your dashboard at the left hand side you will see something called posts which is over here and when you hover that you will get this categories options now click on categories now this is the default one uncategorized we need to change this so what we'll do we'll click on this edit button now i want to change this uncategorized i'll put in wordpress okay so whatever the whenever i don't select any category that is basically a wordpress i want wordpress category to be automatically selected because here as you can see all the posts in my website or on my website is related to wordpress 
and also make sure to change this slug very important okay so just type in wordpress the same thing over here okay and don't put any uppercase just use simple lowercase so we have typed in wordpress over here and click on update again let's come back this to this website let's refresh okay now we can see it says wordpress hello world now the fifth thing is to remove some sample content now as you can see over here the hello world you you haven't typed this thing you haven't typed this post but you still have this hello world thing over here also you have a comment this is just a uh, you know demo content or you know just some sample content which wordpress gives you so that whenever you install wordpress for the first time you should not see a blank page you should have something like this okay but this is good but what happens when you when your site is live okay then you don't want that sample content or sample post to show up over here okay so we need to delete some sample contents okay so click on all posts over here now you'll see this hello world over here now let's click on trash now when you click on trash it is not permanently deleted it is just sent to trash and it will be deleted later on maybe after 30 days or something and if you want to delete it permanently then you can click on this trash and from here you can select select uh, this delete permanently okay so that is deleted now now if you see you uh, when you click on comments you'll see okay we don't see any comments because that comment was you know attached to this post and we have deleted the post post so the comment is also deleted now the sixth thing that we need to do is to delete unused or unnecessary themes and plugins because themes and plugins take a lot of space because when you use many unnecessary themes and plugins then that will increase the you know size of your website okay the file size of your website which is very bad because if that happens then your website will load very slower so we need to get rid of that okay so from the left hand side click on plugins now you'll see few plugins are automatically installed so what you, you can do first you can deactivate it and after that you can click on over here and bulk select it will select everything and from here from bulk action you can select delete and click on apply click on ok so all the plugins which were unnecessary which we did not needed it's deleted now same thing we have to do with themes so click on appearances now as you can see we need only one theme but these two themes uh, they are not in use but still they are installed on our server so we need to get rid of this so click on this theme and here at the bottom you'll see this delete button click on delete okay same thing with this one just delete it okay now it will increase the page speed which is very very important for seo purposes now the next thing is to install plugins now we have you know deleted the unnecessary plugins and themes now we have to install the themes and plugins which you need okay for example there are many good themes available in the market for different purposes for example there is a theme called akismet i guess this is how it is pronounced it is very important theme, very important plugin that is not a theme it's a plugin it's a very important plugin it will you know protect you from spammers because when you install wordpress wordpress because it's a very big market is a very you know common thing which is used nowadays so what happens is there are many people who are trying to spam or your com comment section so they'll come in your comment section and they'll just put in some link and so on so you can use akismet it will protect you against that now there's another plugin called iTheme security that is also very important it will secure your website it will make sure that your website doesn't get tagged no one tries to you know inject some malicious code or something on your website now i think i have a video uh, on itheme security you can, uh, if if that video is uploaded then you will find that in the video description below so make sure to check the video description you'll find some really good things over there now the next plugin is yoast seo this is also a very important plugin i have also made a video on this plugin very important plugin it will improve the uh, ranking of your website on search engines and then 
we have plugins for cache okay like wp super cache w3 cache and so on now what these plugins do is you know they in simple terms they will just improve the speed of your website okay so make sure you install some necessary plugins and themes now the next thing the eighth thing or the eighth step is to enable comments okay now we have to make sure that comments is enabled because what happens is sometimes you visit your website and you see no one is commenting on your post no one is see commenting on your post now that is a dangerous thing it, it means that you know your post is not very interactive so but what happens is sometimes the people want to comment but comment is disabled so we need to make sure that comment is enabled so to do so you'll see under settings something called discussions so hover settings and click on discussion now this is the settings now the most important thing over here is this one allow people to post comments on new articles okay so make sure this is tick mark if it is tick mark then people can you know they will be allowed to comment on your articles now there are more options you can select these options you can read everything and you'll get to know for example when should you be uh, email or notified now whenever someone post a comment you will be emailed or notified through your email address now if you don't want this you can just untick this from here now whenever a comment is held for moderation you will be emailed so you can also untick this if you want before a comment appears comment must be manually approved now if you tick mark this thing then you'll you'll see you know under comments there will be many comments which which are you know unapproved now you have to manually approve each and every comment now this is good and bad at the same time it all depends on how your website is okay so if you're running a very good website which has a great amount of traffic then i think you should enable this because then many people will try to spam your comment section okay you can just uh, think for yourself whether it is good for you or not okay because for someone this might be good but for someone this might be bad now this is uh this says comment author must have a previously approved comment so if someone has a previously approved comments then their next comments or upcoming comments will automatically be approved so you can select all this thing op all these options from here okay now click on save changes now the ninth thing which we have to make sure is enable registration okay make sure that registration is enabled so you'll find under general settings settings and under settings you'll see general settings now this is most important for website like membership website woocommerce or e-commerce websites now what happens there may, many a times it happens you know people email me and put them put that thing in the comment you know what uh, no one is able to you know register to my website why is that happening because you have not enabled this thing okay so you just have to tick mark over here anyone can register and then they will be able to register to your website okay this is very very important this is just a simple tick mark but very important this has created problems for many many people because i know there are so many people mailing me you know this is a problem people are not able to you know register the seller uh, if someone has created a multi vendor website then the seller are not not able to you know register to their website so that is a problem the customers are not able to register to the website okay so that is basically because you have not tick mark this thing now once you tick mark this just click on save changes now the last thing actually i would like to cover um, two three things under last thing the one thing is your timing okay so this is the you have to select the format of the timing whatever format you want okay and week starts on which day and another setting that you can consider or you can take under the 10th point is widgets or sidebars okay for example these are different sidebars or widgets over here now by default if you see the website this is the default website you will have this default sidebar over here with meta categories archives and so on now you need to delete everything and put in you know custom sidebar or custom widgets like this for example i have subscribe thing over here recent post and so on so that is important how will you do that you'll go to appearances hover appearances and click on widgets now here is all the 
you know default things which are present now you can delete everything for example if you don't want meta you can delete meta if you don't want recent post or recent comments you can just delete them from here if you want to delete archives you can delete it now we have only search bar recent post and categories now if you refresh your website you'll see only three widgets over here okay so first it says okay so it says the post is not found because we have deleted this hello world post okay but that is how you do it now another important thing which i would like to uh, tell you is that make sure always your plugins and themes are up to date they are updated okay whenever you see if you go to themes for example if you click on appearances if there is a new update available it will say over here that this up there is some update available you can just click on that simple update button and it will update everything okay guys so these were some important things which i think you know according to me these were very important things that everyone should do after installing wordpress so i hope you guys like this video if you have more important things which you if you if you think you have some point which i missed uh, then you can put them in the comment section below so that you know other people can also benefit from it okay so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel give a thumbs up to this video see you soon guys thank you for watching